Welcome to the Forte Web training video series. The last topic that we're going to cover in this video series is about the member reports. So the very last tab, as you're looking at a member, is the reports tab. And if you click on it, you'll be able to scroll down and see your design results and any notes that might apply. This section contains bearing length and reaction information and your connector information. So if you have a flush connection, you can select your desired hanger here. And then a summary of all the loads and any holes or notches or tapered end cuts that you may have put on your member. Member notes print here as well. If you have some condition in your design that violates a rule of the design engine, that will be noted here. You may see a hole too close to bearing or too close to a concentrated load, slenderness ratio exceeding some set limit. Those will be indicated here on the member report. So in order to print this calc, Right here you can do print report and it generates a PDF which is then put into your downloads folder or wherever your default downloads go for your browser. And that PDF report will open in whatever PDF reader you have installed and from there you can send it to a, a printer to get it to paper. And once you download the file you can then move that file into whatever project folder or location you desire and your operator information and any job notes that you may have input uh, prints down in the, the footer there. And the where your job information provided by that you put back in the job properties, that prints here as well. Also have a timestamp and the graphic. You can print reports for members that have failed if you want to. We also have a full detail report and that will display the different load scenarios, um, alternate loading patterns, uh, all of the the things that the design engine goes through in the background. If you need more information you can get that here. For beams, especially multiply beams, you will see the multiple member connection detail displayed down here. So you can choose your bolt and nailing patterns if you don't see this showing up, you'll need to go back and set that appropriately on your member info tab. I also want to bring to your attention the unbraced length. So this is important if you're sizing garage door headers in particular. The unbraced length is displayed here, whether you're sizing it as a drop beam or using our header member type, you want to be sure to check that here. If you want to print an entire calc package, rather than printing just one member at a time, you can do that by clicking in your job tree on the, the title of your job. And you can choose a uh, print job summary, which will just print this grid that you're looking at here, or print design members, and that'll print your entire calc package. Or you can choose if you only want to print certain members out of that, you can unselect entire levels or one at a time, or you can print the whole thing. Once you've made your selection, hit selections complete. So this is what the job summary looks like. So if you just print the job summary, it's only this page. This is more of a cover sheet for you. And it has your operator information, job notes, and then each member report. One note, I do have a linked load. The comments will appear here. And that's just about it for generating and printing reports. Hope you found this video series beneficial and I hope you find Forte Web a useful tool in designing your project and specifying TrustJoyce Warehouser products.